Welcome everyone. We'd like to today discuss how to configure Adobe Audition for using multiple USB microphones. I'm not sure what the limit would be on this technically, but today, just a few minutes ago, I discovered a way to get two USB mics to work in Adobe Edition in recording on separate channels. And I wanna share my experience with you guys, so hopefully it helps you out. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your browser and you wanna to navigate to azioforall.com. Click this and version 213 is the latest. Go ahead and download that. It may go into your downloads folder or whatever. Mine's set to the desktop. So we're gonna go ahead and navigate to that. Double click it, allow the install. Next, next, next. Um, since mine is already installed, I'm gonna cancel out. But go ahead and install that. And keep in mind that this is a driver. It is not an application. So after you install it, you won't see it in your start menu or anything like that. You're just gonna have it um, in, the, in the Windows system folder. Anyways, so what you wanna do is, now that that is installed, you wanna go into Adobe Edition and you want to go into preferences and audio audio hardware now what you want to do the, the device class would be set to MME as standard and that's not going to work for us so I'll go ahead and click the drop down select ASIO once you have that on there you have your devices let's go into the settings you'll see I have all my devices set to on make sure you click those so that they're highlighted or high lit, I'm not sure what the past tense verb is for that. So you have them there, my Samsung, my Yeti, both online. Now we go into channel mapping. And from here, you want to select the different audio devices. So it may be set to HD audio or some other device that you have standard. Go ahead and click on them until you have your particular devices. And because we're also channeling the output through the ASIO, driver we also have to reselect our outputs for left and right channel so go ahead and click on these as well find your device that has output for your your particular system for mine is set appropriately because i can now hear for yours it may be different so once you have these two set go ahead and click ok and now we're ready to go it's really that simple um here's my first recording on this it was just literally recorded about 20 minutes ago but this is the first recording I made on two different microphones at the same time. Let me just give you a playback quickly so you can hear the output. Okay, I wasn't <laughs> properly configured. Let's retry that. Mapping, let's go into, I'm not even sure what it would be. I think it's this one. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened here. Yeah. Anyways, I may not be able to play that back for you. But just keep in mind that this is how are you going to configure it. Now, playing back is a whole different animal in itself. But I've, I've played this back. I've saved that as a waveform. We're good to go. I mean, it, it's major clipping, you know. So you'll have to go in there and, and tweak your audio settings accordingly. Um, but this is how you would do it with the ASIO driver. Something else to keep in mind before you do that, you may also go want to take a peek into your recording devices. And here you're going to see your microphones. So for example, this one here, go into the levels and you can set the levels accordingly. Most people set it around 50 with good results. I haven't played around with it. You know, again, I just figured this out a few minutes ago. So mine is set to 85 for now. I may be lowering or raising it accordingly. And the other thing is you want to make sure the default format is set to whatever you prefer here, but you also have to match this setting within the application that you're recording in. So make sure you do that, and I'm pretty sure you should have good results. If you have any questions or comments or run into issues or whatever, you know, you just want to talk about it, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. Um, you get a quicker response there. I don't really respond much on face, not Facebook, but YouTube. I try to. I have the YouTube Studio app, but for some reason, it doesn't give me alerts either at all or in a timely manner. But Twitter, I'm on there all day. You'll get a quicker response. So send me a tweet at tech9900. I'm not asking you to follow me, but if you just want to chat, you can do that without following. That's cool. 
and hopefully this helps somebody out there. Let me know.